storyline is so beloved by the comics fans. Why was it so important for you guys to push for it? Because well, yeah. we're comic fans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, look, it's, it's every comic fan's fantasy, right? To see your favorite characters have to fight each other. In Civil War, the book did it in such an amazing way. But really why we got led here, aside from, like more specifically to the storytelling was, you know, it, we got done with Winter Soldier, and Cap is just such an amazing character. We're thinking about, well, how do you push him forward? He's so strong, both physically and morally. It's like you have to come up with really inventive ways to threaten a character like that. You know, we don't want to just see another bad guy come at Cap. We want to see a good guy come at Cap and see what happens. So it's like somebody like Tony Stark. You know, that's threatening. That scared us for Cap. You know, that made us think, oh, that, this is going to be a challenge. Um, and that's sort of what lit us up. It just seemed like it's what the character needed. It's, a, it's how we needed to test him in the next movie. You chose the wrong side. And, you know, you're dealing with a really complex story world here. So for the fans, give us a glimpse inside how you sort of figure out what's going to be included. I mean, I picture you guys all in like a bunker down in some helicarrier with big whiteboards. Pretty accurate. That's kind of <laughs> Minus the helicarrier. Except it's, yeah. It's yeah, we're in a, a, we're in a very, uh, yeah, we've got uh, a drop ceiling and um, some, uh, some white plaster walls uh, around us. But it's really, it's us and uh, Marcus and McFeely who wrote the Winter Soldier and Civil War, and who are writing Infinity War, and uh, Nate Moore, uh, who produced uh, Civil War uh, for Marvel, uh, and Kevin Feige. And we sit around in a room for months on end, and we talk about all of our options. What is the story that we want to tell? Where are we going? What's interesting about these characters? What do we love about them? What does the audience love about them? What is surprising? What are people not expecting? And I think that is actually probably the biggest driver for us on a storytelling level. Uh, is how do we surprise the audience? How do we do something that's cathartic for them? How do we, how do we take all of this storytelling over the last 10 years and, and, and take it to a place where, you know, they're, they're gonna walk out of the theater hopefully having a profound experience. And if you guys had to choose someone to be on Team Russo, who's your first choice for each of you? Oh my God, Team Russo, yeah. Let me see here. I'll take Panther. That's a good one. I, I'll, I'll have to take Cap. You know. And what was your reaction when you found out you were going to be you were going to be able to play with Spider-Man? Look, it was amazing. It was you know that was it, it was really important to us. You know, he started working his way into the creative process much earlier than uh, he was. It, the deal was worked out where we could actually use him. So it was kind of a scary few months for us because he was becoming a part of a, uh, the story in a way where we weren't going to be able to excise him because he wouldn't have been in our story if he wasn't necessary to it. So we were in this very strange place uh, of like of, of needing him but not yet having him. So when we finally got the word that Kevin Feige was able to work out a deal with Sony Studios where they could use the character and bring the character in the MCU, uh, we were ecstatic because it was, we would have, uh, the house would have fallen down. Come on! Captain America, Civil War, rated PG-13, now playing.